हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम गौरव मकवाना वेलकम बैक टू माय अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल बायोटेक गाइड इन टुडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वील गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इमोबिलाइजेशन ऑफ एंजाइम्स और अ सेल्स अ टॉपिक हैविंग अ वाइड और अ ब्रॉड एप्लीकेशन इन इंडस्ट्रियल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी बेसिकली इन द फॉर्मुलेशन पार्ट सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो आई कवर्ड फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन देन डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मैट्रिक्स एंड सपोर्ट सिस्टम विच आर यूज इन इमोबिलाइजेशन टेक्निक then uh, uh, types of immobilization physical chemical where adsorption entrapment encapsulation covalent and cross linking are involved and uh, then uh, advantages and disadvantages of immobilization and the last application of immobilization so stay tuned and enjoy this video lecture so let's start first with uh, introduction so what is a uh, immobilization attachment of an enzyme on a solid matrix so it cannot be escaped but can still act on a substrate or in another word immobilization is defined as the imprisonment of cell or enzyme in a distinct support or a matrix so basically is the technique where an enzyme or a cell applied on a matrix so it cannot be escaped May, uh, that means they cannot be uh, uh, change uh, change its place or uh, don't change its function but still act on a subset basically they provide uh, matrix is provided for a support uh, and the attachment in uh, another word we can say uh, imprisonment that means uh, protective layer uh, protective layer of a support or a matrix provided to cell or a enzyme uh, in next we will going to brief about uh, what is matrix and the support system then another point is uh, the practice of immobilization of cells is very old and uh, first immobilized enzyme was amino acylase of aspergillus oryzae for the production of uh, l amino acids in a japan so uh, this is the history point of view and uh, very important in the competitive exam examination then what are the ad advantages so basically uh, main two advantages are there increase the functional efficiency and enhance the reproducibility as we discussed in uh, definition supports or matrix so basically the supports or matrix hold the enzyme or they they are basically in the three major categories natural polymer synthetic polymers and inorganic materials first natural polymers so uh, these are the example alginate alginate derived from the algal cell wall uh, basically calcium or magnesium alginate then chitosan and chitin having a uh, hydroxyl group so they can easily bind with two uh, enzymes then collagen proteinaceous support then keratinin a sulfur polysaccharide obtained from the algae gelatin hydrolyzed collagen or uh, having a good water holding capacity cellulose is cheapest support available starch and pectin also having a good water holding capacity then second synthetic polymers so basically they are ion exchange resins or polymer example is uh, deae diethyl amino ethyl uh, is also uh, used in ion exchange chromatography deae cellulose then polyvinyl chloride uv activated polyethylene glycol are the example of a synthetic polymers then third in organic materials so zeolites ceramics uh, diatomaceous earth silica glass activated carbon and charcoal are the inorganic materials support matrix now types of immobilization basically two types are there physical and chemical immobilization in physical adsorption entrapment and encapsulation are involved and in chemical covalent and a cross linking are the sub types of chemical immobilization so let's discuss one by one first in physical immobilization adsorption uh for a exam point of view you have to uh, first explain what kind of bonds are involved then second what kind of support or a matrix are used then method of immobilization and fourth advantages and disadvantages of particular technique so this is the simplest write up of a particular uh, immobilization technique first adsorption uh, so what kind of bonds so basically ionic hydrogen and van der waals then support matrix so for mineral support aluminum oxide clay in organic support starch and modified sulfurous and ion exchange resin 
then method of emulization and adsorption so the static process dynamic batch process reactor loading process and electrode position process so as name suggests static process so basically basically the uh, solution uh, containing enzyme to contact uh, contact the carrier without a stirring process okay so stirring is not applied then dynamic batch process so basically uh, as names uh, suggest dynamic so stirring or uh, agitation is provided then reactor loading process so basically uh, all the uh, all the process which is carried out by a reactor with a continuous agitation then electrode position processes so basically uh, in this method uh, carrier is uh, placed near to the electrode okay as name suggests and uh, in the enzyme uh, bath and then current is, uh, current is current is put on under the electric field the enzyme migrates to the carrier and the deposited on the surface then uh, uh, advantages so basically no pore diffusion limitation easy to carry out no reagents are required minimum activation steps are involved and comparatively cheap method of immobilization less uh, disruptive to enzyme than a chemical method so these are the advantages and uh, disruption of enzymes from the carrier and efficiency is less so these are the disadvantages of immobilization uh, adsorption method second in physical immobilization interruptment so what kind of bonds so uh, matrix uh, matrix may attach to the enzymes or a cell by covalent or non covalent bond then what kind of matrix so uh, polyacrylamide gels cellulose uh, triacetate agar gelatin carrageenan uh, and alignate those are the matrix which are used quality required for this matrix so pore size of the matrix is adjusted to prevent the loss of enzyme can be adjust, uh, adjusted with the concentration of the polymer used then agar agar and uh, carrageenan having a comparatively large pore size so these are the basically quality which are, which are required for this technique so then uh, uh, method of uh, method of interruptment so basically three methods are three methods are there inclusion in a gels inclusion in a fibers or inclusion in a micro capsule so as name suggest inclusion in a gels so basically enzymes or a cells which trapped inside the gels then in fibers so fibers made from the matrix inclusion is happening there then in micro capsule so this is the main important technique enzymes interrupted in micro capsule uh, formed by monomer mixtures such as a uh, polyimide and a calcium alginate and interruptment in calcium alginate is the most widely used for interruptment for microbial plant enzyme and a cell so basically you can see here uh, in this technique enzyme enzyme and sodium alginate uh, enzyme enzyme and uh, sodium alginate mixture is added drop wise into a CaCl, uh, CaCl2 calcium chloride solution so what happened here uh, uh, sodium and calcium is combined and uh, form NaCl and enzyme and alignate which forms uh, which forms uh, which uh, resulted into a calcium alignate bits kind of structure okay then uh, advantages so fast method of immobilization cheap and easy to practice at a small scale uh, mild condition are required less chance to conformational changes in the enzyme and can be used for a sensing application then leakage of enzyme pore diffusion limitation chance of a microbial contamination and not much success in industrial process are the disadvantages of this interruptment technique third in physical immobilization encapsulation so basically here none of any kind of uh, uh, bonds are needed this type of uh, this type of immobilization is done by enclosing the enzyme in the in a membrane capsule and the capsule will be made up of semi permeable membrane like nitrocellulose or a nylon and this method effectiveness uh, depends upon the stability of enzyme inside the capsule so here you can see so here physical immobilization is complete then let's discuss about a second type of immobilization chemical immobilization where first covalent bonding so mainly a covalent bonding as name suggests covalent bond is formed between enzyme functional group and a chemical group of a support matrix so basically here are the uh, functional group of an enzyme where the covalent bond is formed so alpha carboxyl group of a c terminal uh, of an enzyme then alpha amino group of n terminal of an enzyme 
in phenol ring of a tyrosine indole ring of a tryptophan epsilon amino groups of lysine and arginine in the enzyme then beta and uh, beta and the gamma carboxyl group of aspartate and glutamate third group of cysteine hydroxyl group of serine and threonine then imidazole uh, group of a histidine those, those are the functional group what kind of uh, matrix are involved in uh, covalent bonding so carbohydrates La, example is cellulose uh, dial ethyl amino ethyl cellulose agarose then synthetic agents uh, poly polyacrylamide then protein carrier coll uh, collagen gelatin amino group be uh, bearing carriers amino benzyl cellulose inorganic carrier porous glass silica and uh, cyanogen bromide agarose and uh, cyanogen bromide sapphirose those are the matrix are used in a uh, covalent bonding then uh, method of covalent bonding so digestion bonding between amino group of support and the tyrosyl or histidyl group of an enzyme so that uh, method is known as a digestion then peptide bond so bonding between amino or a carboxyl group of uh, the support and that of the enzyme then polyfunctional reagents uh, use of a bifunctional or multifunctional agents like as a glutaraldehyde which forms a covalent bonding uh, between the amino group amino group of the support and the amino group of the enzyme then advantages a strong linkage of enzyme to the support no leakage or a disruption problem comparatively simple method a variety of support with a different functional groups available wide applicability those are the advantages and chemical modification of enzyme leading to the loss of a functional conformation of the enzyme the enzyme inactivation by changes in the conformation when undergoes reaction at the active site uh, this can be overcome through immobilization in the presence of uh, enzyme substrate or a competitive inhibitor then second in chemical immobilization cross linking copolymerization so in this method of immobilization enzymes are directly linked by covalent bonds between various groups of enzyme via polyfunctional agents unlike other methods there is uh, no matrix or supports are involved okay so commonly used polyfunctional uh, reagents are glutaraldehyde and diazonium uh, salt uh, these are the uh, atomic structure of uh, diazonium uh, and a glutaraldehyde and uh, this is how they uh, mainly uh, forms a bond or a uh, cross linking basically the cross linking name suggests uh, name suggests by uh, having this kind of uh, attachment then advantages so this technique is a cheap simple but uh, not often used with a pure enzyme then uh, also widely used in a uh, commercial preparation and industrial application then disadvantages the greatest disadvantages uh, is this method is what polyfunctional reagents used for a cross linking so the enzyme may denature or structurally modify the enzyme leading to the loss of a catalytic properties so these are the this is the disadvantage of cross linking so these are the types of immobilization for exam point of view uh, commonly advantages and disadvantages which you uh, which you write for any kind of uh, uh, physical or chemical immobilization techniques those are here uh like advantages of any particular method is what protects degradation and deactivation reuse of enzyme and lowering total production cost of enzyme mediated reaction so these are the advantages and uh, limited for industrial application sometime enzyme become unstable inactivated by heat and high cost of isolation purification and recovery of enzyme these are the dis uh, disadvantages so basically you Uh, use this uh, these advantages and disadvantages for any kind of a uh, immobilization technique for example on to few basically at the end application of immobilized enzyme first industrial production so for production of antibiotics beverages and amino acid immobilization is used then biomedical application for a diagnosis and treatment of many diseases uh, immobilized enzymes can be used to overcome overcome inborn metabolic disorders by the supply of immobilized enzyme also effectively used in a drug delivery system especially to onco oncogenic sites then in food industry uh, pectinase and cellulose uh, cellulose immobilized on uh, suitable carrier are successfully used for production of a jams jellies and syrups from a fruits and vegetables 
then for research uh, extensively use many enzyme uh, uh, like uh, immobilized enzyme allow researcher to increase the efficiency of a different enzyme such uh, as a horse radish peroxidase in a bloating experiment and uh, different proteases for a cell or a organelle uh, lysis then production of a biodiesel from a vegetable oils then wastewater management treatment of a sewage and industrial effluents then in textile industry uh, scoring and a uh, biopolishing uh, and uh, designing of uh, fabrics then in detergent industry also having application uh, like a, a lipase enzyme for, for effective dirt removal from the clothes so this is all about of uh, immobilization technique i hope you enjoying very well and got it very well if you having any doubts or clarification uh, well, note it down in comment box and uh, also join our uh, social media platform for uh, many other updates thank you so much friends and if you want to get more and more videos regarding like this join with us and uh, be a perfect biotechnologist thank you so much friends